Hi, it's Drew at Finelli. In this quick video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a custom table layout. Let's jump right in. Each time you launch Finelli, which I've just done, you get the default table layout, which looks like this. I have part number, used, quota, available, description. And the table layout controls a variety of factors. First is which columns are visible, the column widths for the columns that are visible, the positions of the columns, for example, the order for, so you can see the icons are first, the part number is second, etc. Uh, the sort order is also part of the table layout. The filters, meaning which green drop down lists are displayed at the top, those are our filters. And if anything is pre populated into the search field here. The last thing that's part of the custom table layout is the level of zoom in this window. If you mouse over the scroll bar on the right hand side of the effects window, you can use your mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. If your mouse doesn't have a wheel or you're using a touchpad, you can use control on your keyboard and press plus or minus to zoom in and out in the effects window. So I'll restore this to the default layout. You can see I'll exaggerate the zoom here and then restore it. So I go to the blue gear menu and I can go to select table layout and then go to all effects. And this will restore it to the default layout that we had when we opened Finale. So let's make some adjustments. First, I'll hide some columns that I don't need. To hide a column, you can right click and do hide this column. I'll hide a couple other columns for this example. Okay, we've hidden a bunch of columns, which really serves to make the interface look a bit cleaner. If I'm just doing show design, I might not care about uh, the, several of those columns. So this might be all I need. I have my used quantity, my available quantity, my part numbers, my descriptions, sizes, and prefires. Now, actually, I'm seeing I've got my sizes and my descriptions, so I really don't need to look at that either. So we'll go ahead, right click, and hide this column. So here we go. So this looks like a good, clean layout for show design. Now let's say that instead of filtering by part number, or excuse me, sorting by part number, I'd like to sort by description. So to sort by description, I just click on the column header. If I want to sort in reverse description order, I just click on it again and it'll sort by reverse description order. You can actually sort by more than one column. You can sort by, let's say, part number first and then by description second by clicking on part number and then clicking, holding the shift key on the keyboard and then choosing description. Now, in this case, the part numbers are unique, so that didn't have much of an effect, but you can do a multi-column sort, which can be handy in certain situations. Now, let's say I don't really like the zoom level for my custom layout, so I'll go here and I'll dial it in just a little bit more to make the zoom a little bit bigger. Next, I'll put something in the search box. So let's say I only want to look at items that have more than five available. So I could do available greater than five, now I'm only looking at those items that I have more than five available. Now this might not serve any practical purpose when designing an actual show, but it can really demonstrate what the search box can do. So we've now set the columns, the column widths, the positions, the sort order, filters, the search box, and the zoom level. So now we just need to save our custom table layout. So we'll go to the blue gear menu and do save current table layout as template and do new layout template. Now let's give it a name. We'll call it the um, design layout. And I'll put my name there just so we can tell that that's a custom layout. Enter to save. Now it's important to note that the custom table layout is saved in the show that we're working on. So if I close Finale now without saving the show, my custom table layout will be gone. So it's very important to do file, save, to save my custom show. So I'll just overwrite an existing show template and do save. Now I've saved the show, which has saved the custom template. Remember, each time we open Finale, we're gonna get the all effects layout. So if you want to use your custom layout, you would open Finale, open your show template or any show that you're working on that has a custom table layout, go to the blue menu, the blue gear menu, choose select table layout and then choose the custom layout that you've made. So here you can see I have the all effects layout is visible and I will go ahead and choose the d design layout drew. So there you can see all the things that we set came right back. So we have the column widths, the order, etc. Now let's say that we want to modify this layout where we're looking at everything and not just items that have available quantity greater than five. 
To do that, we can just erase that, hit enter to clear the search, go to the blue gear menu one more time, go to save current table layout as template, and then just click on the design layout drew to overwrite. Now we've overwritten that, so the custom table layout has been modified. Very important though, we need to save the show because the show contains the custom layout. That's all there is to it. That's how you create a custom table layout in Finale 3D. Thanks for watching, hope you found it useful. Be sure to check out the other great videos on our YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe.